well? Is Jesus your filter? Amen. Uh, we started this on last week, and we're gonna talk about some talk about this some more this morning. <clears throat> I really believe that this is a a vital revelation, a vital teaching. Uh, that if we apply it to our everyday lives, mm -hmm. it will really bless us. Amen? Amen. Amen. Is Jesus your filter? Amen. Now, I'm not going to go all over all the things I discussed last week, but I do want to recap um, on a few things to help us get to the next place. Amen? Amen. Is Jesus your filter? Is Jesus your filter? <coughs> What does this question mean? What does it mean? Is Jesus my filter? On, what does that mean? What does it mean? Uh, here's another question. What do you run everything through? Mm -hmm. How many know that sometimes we can have friends mm -hmm. or family members mm -hmm. that we run everything through? Yeah. Say amen. amen. Before you make a decision, before you do something, you say, let me call so and so. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all not saying that. <laughs> let, me, let me call my cousin. Let me call my boy. Let me call my girl. You know, let, me, let me run this through them. Right. Right. Amen? What are you saying? What are you actually saying? I want to run this through their filter. Mm -hmm. In other words, I want to get another perspective. Yeah. I want to hear some other advice. Amen? Yeah. How many know that if you ran everything through your filter, you could miss some things? Yeah. So what you do, you, you get... Counsel through somebody else, and actually, the Bible says, uh, in the multitude of counsels, there is safety. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's good to get counsel, amen? amen. But we have to be mindful of who we running our amen. things through, yes. amen. 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 amen? Don't don't call somebody that's carnal, <laughs> and you give and you you try, to, you try to get spiritual advice, <laughs> but they carnal. Amen. That's the wrong filter, amen. 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 amen? Watch this. If you angry about something. But you calling somebody else who's an angry person, mm -hmm. running your anger through their filter, they're not going to do nothing but beat you up. Amen. Amen. You need to call somebody with a different filter. Mm -hmm. That's right. Somebody that can calm you down and say, baby, no, look, you need to calm down. Yeah. Amen. 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 Don't call them out to yeah, you're right. You get them. <laughs> and then when you're in jail, they know they can't even, you, they, 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 you get a voice mail. <laughs> We have filters. What, what does it mean? Is, is Jesus my filter? Uh, do I run things through Jesus? Do I see things through the eyes of Jesus? What screen do you run the, op, the opinions of others about you through? Ooh, I'll say that again. What screen, what filter do you run the opinions of others about you through? What do your hurts and disappointments run through? <laughs> Believe it or not, they're running through something. Yes. What do your disappointments, your hurts, your pains, what filters are they running through? What screen do they run through? Words that we hear, actions of others, whether good or bad, self-talk. And etc. has to run through a filter. Mm -hmm. And my goal in this teaching here is to make you aware that if you are in Christ and Christ is in you, that He should be your filter. Yes. Yes. That means everything runs through Jesus. <clears throat> Watch this. When I get hurt, uh -huh. when I get hurt, it runs to who? Jesus. That, that don't mean I don't feel it. Mm -hmm. Amen. I still feel the hurt. Amen. But because Jesus is my filter, I process it differently. Oh man! I I I I have to have him as my filter, my screen that I run through things through. My hurt, my pain, my good, my bad, my ups and downs, everything. It got, it has to run through Jesus. And I mentioned on last week that Jesus, if I had to put it this way, Jesus is the filter that you have to turn on. Just because you have them, no mean he own. Amen. Okay. Yes, sir. Say that. Just because you have Jesus, don't mean you are allowing him to be your filter. Mm -hmm. uh, let me say something here. Have you ever heard somebody say, uh, "Please don't don't make me put down my religion." Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> now, see what you about to see what's about to happen. I'm about to put my religion down and we're about to go at it. What they're really saying is, I'm turning Jesus off. I'm turning Jesus off so I can turn me on. <laughs> I don't need no. I don't need Jesus to be my filter right now because he gonna he gonna he gonna cause me to not say what I want to say right now. Amen. But if I keep him on as my filter, I can't go off on you like I want to. Amen. I can't curse you out like I want to. Amen. Come on now, I can't treat you bitter like I want to. Amen. I can't treat you angry like I really want to. Amen. If Jesus is my filter, I have to treat you like he would. Yes. Yes. And right now, I don't agree with how he would treat you. Because I want to treat you like I think you deserve to be treated. Yeah. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. <laughs> Have Jesus ever cut you off when you wanted to do something? Yes. Yes. And you got mad about it? I don't yes. like that. Yes. See, y'all not going to be honest. I got mad. Jesus, come on, let me have two minutes. Amen. Come on, Jesus, let me have, let me have one time, Jesus. One time. Come on, Jesus. If I do it one time, they'll never mess with me again, Jesus. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jesus, you know, Jesus, you know, I got my degree. In, come on, I got my degree in this. I, I. <laughs> Jesus said, "No, uh -uh. that's not how I would treat you. That's not what I would say." Yes. But Jesus, He said, "No, no, but Jesus, me, just turn me on. <laughs> just, just turn me on. Just, come on. Uh, remember last time we said, Shh. Uh -huh. yes. come on, do that. We said, Shh. you got to turn him on." And you and you know and you know when you need to turn them on because you feel it. Yes, yes. So I, need to, I, try, I got to turn my filter on here mm -hmm. because if I don't have this filter to scream this incident or this situation or this thought or these words through, I am going to act like me and not Amen. Jesus. Amen. How many times have you acted like you? Mm -hmm. One hand. Y'all yeah. look at your neighbor and say, you need to be delivered from lying. Yeah. <laughs> so let me give you another chance. How many have acted like you? Amen. And not like Jesus. Amen. Because he wasn't your what? Yeah. Filter. What is a filter? It, it's, it's what my things run through. Yeah. Amen? Are y'all with me? Yeah. Say, Jesus, Jesus is my filter. Is my filter. Uh -huh. Everything that comes to us, are y'all taking notes? Yeah. I want y'all take notes now. Everything that comes to us by the way of thoughts, what did I just say? Everything that what that comes to us by the way of what thoughts. Guess what? Suggestions, Suggestions. Experiences, experiences, words, words. instructions, <laughs> all go through a filter. Yes. Mm. Did y'all get all that? Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this again. You, you don't have to repeat it. Let me just say this. Everything that comes to us by the way of thoughts, suggestions, experiences, words, even instructions from God, instructions from Holy Spirit, all runs through a filter. Mm. Now, it depends on which filter that you have on. <laughs> mm. that, that, that determines the outcome, mm. the harvest, if you will. Mm. You have to evaluate what filter am I operating with here? Amen. 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 Let me give you a few of our filters. When I say our, meaning none Jesus filters. <laughs> say none Jesus. None, none Jesus filters. All right. Mm -hmm. Let me give you a few of them. That could be a, that could be a, oh, a lot of them, but let me give you a few. Fear. Fear is a filter. Hello? Amen. Fear is a filter. Mm -hmm. Carnality is a type of filter. What's carnality? What does that mean, Pastor? It means that you say, but you still call. Mm -hmm. You say, you go to church, but you still act like 
you in the world. Yeah. Carnal Christians. That's a filter. Another filter can be bitterness. Yeah. You sweet on the outside. Hmm. Hmm. But bitter hmm. on the inside. Another filter is resentment. Run through resentment. If you have a filter of resentment, everything that runs through that filter is going to be contaminated yeah. mm. or distorted. Yeah. Here's another one. Pride is a filter. Yeah. Pride. Now, pride has cousins. Mm. <laughs> a homies. <laughs> Road dogs. Mm. Whatever vernacular you may want to interject there. Mm. Pride has Employees. Mm -hmm. Selfishness is one of them. Mm -hmm. Arrogance. Self centeredness. Cousins of pride. Employees of pride. Mm -hmm. And they are all filters. Mm -hmm. Here's another filter for you childhood experiences. The experiences that you encountered as a child develop filters. Y'all. Yeah. 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 Yes. Here's another one. Perspectives and perceptions. Filters. How you see a thing. How you see it is determined what filter is running through. I want you to write this down here if you're taking notes. Ask Jesus this question. Jesus, how do you see this? Mm -hmm. Amen. Ask Jesus this question right here. Jesus, how do you see this right here? How do you see this circumstance? How do you see this person? Mm -hmm. How do you see this event? How do you see this word, this, this, this thought? I mean, give me your perspective. Yeah. Because my filter may mess it up. Amen? Amen. How many know you can take something wrong that somebody says because it came through the wrong field? Amen. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's good. Yes. Watch this now. And these filters were developed and shaped by thoughts and experiences. I'll say it again. These filters were developed and shaped by what? Thoughts and experiences. Let me give you a fact. By the time you were six years old, you had already developed filters. Y'all yeah. not saying nothing. Uh-uh, Pastor. I didn't get this until I married my wife, my husband. Mm -mm. I didn't get this until I started on this job right here. I, I wouldn't even like this until I started on this job. Mm -mm. Say, look at somebody say, mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, look, work your neck and say, uh-uh. Mm -mm. By the time you were six years old, okay. you had already developed a plethora of different filters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a fact. Now, just imagine all the filters that has been developed even in adulthood. Yeah. Amen. Amen. This is why he says, if any, if any man be in Christ, uh -huh. yes. he is a what? Amen. New creation. Mm -hmm. All filters are passed away. Amen. Behold what? All things become new. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I have a new way of thinking. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Filters are associated with your thinking. Yes. Amen. 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 All right, let me, let me, I'm hearing something here. All right, let me do this. Let's talk practical for a moment. For a moment. I mentioned to you last week that our cars have filters. Mm -hmm. They have air filters. Filters. All filters. Amen? amen. Say amen, y'all. Amen. 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 As a matter of fact, I, uh, I got my oil changed yesterday. Bless the Lord. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I'm thinking about this teaching, too. <laughs> so I asked the guy, I said, you know, is it okay if you let me see my old oil filter? He said, why would you want to see that? 
I said, I just want to see you. <laughs> and he showed it to me. I said, man, that thing. I said, man, that's, mm -hmm. that's nasty, man. He said, yeah, because he said all the junk, all the stuff is caught in this field. Mm -hmm. He said, it's why we tell you to get an oil change every uh, 3,000 miles, I think it is. Because mm -hmm. by that time, your filter needs to be changed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can go longer than that if you want to, but it's going to just cause your filter to just get overpacked. Yeah. I'm teaching y'all, I said, yeah, yeah. it's going to cause your, feet, your filter just to get overpacked. And that stuff get to back it up and destroy your heads and gaskets and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I'm like, man, it's a good class you give me up in there, man. Amen. And I'm looking at that thing. I said, man, how about this? Give me some new oil and put the old field on there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> all right. Yes, Lord. He said, well, sir, if I did that, the new oil will be dirty in two days. He says, so you're just really wasting your money. Mm -hmm. Because the filter yes. is what it runs through. Yeah. And it sends it back through the motor and it sends it back around again and it sends yeah. it over and over. Yeah. And I said, wow. Yeah, let's throw that one away. Mm. What God has said to us He's giving us new oil, yeah. new wine, yeah. through Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. But what? What? Why? Why try to put new wine in the old wine skin? Yes. In other words, I'm giving you this new oil, this new wine, but I got to change your filter. Yes. Because what's going to happen? You're going to self-sabotage or short circuit this new system. Mm. With your old way of thinking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Jesus has to be your filter. Yes. Say amen. amen. Say Jesus. Jesus. Be my filter. Be my filter. Come on, say Jesus. Jesus. Be my filter. Be my filter. Come on, Periscope. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say Jesus. Be my filter. I gotta have something to run this through. Yes. Because if I don't, I will always think wrong. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, but I'm thinking wrong. Amen. I'm on my way to heaven, but I got bad thinking. Yeah. <sighs> so, so Jesus, Jesus has to be my what? My yeah. filter. Yeah. Watch this. I want, I, let me just read some things to you right quick. Uh, is it all right if I talk to you? Yeah. All right. Yeah. If we can get there. Uh, our homeboy, our friend, our other brother, Webster. <laughs> Says this. A filter is a device that is used to remove something unwanted. Wow. That's good stuff right yeah. there. A device that is used to remove something that is unwanted. Mm -hmm. How many know that, that you have to know that fear should be unwanted in your mind? Yes. Pride should be what? Unwanted. Yes. Y'all come on. Amen. Selfishness should be what? Unwanted. Come on, y'all. All those things that comes to self-sabotage our life should be what? Unwanted. And a filter is designed to remove everything that's not un that's that's unwanted. Amen. Every day in life, we deal with people, don't we? Yes. We get into conversation, we deal with family members, we deal with children, we deal with, we deal with all this stuff. And there are some things that God has said, you shouldn't want that in your mind. Amen. Mm. Lord, yes. Don't let that get into the conversation because if that gets into the conversation, it's going to take the conversation in the direction that it's not supposed to go. Yes. Yes. Glory. You need a filter. And his name Jesus. is who? Jesus. And his name is who? Jesus. Jesus. I'm about to say something that probably gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> Lord, I know Jesus. But we are dancing and shouting in the church and having a good time, mm -hmm. living life with bad filters. Mm -hmm. Amen. 
Ah. God is not interested in us just having a good time. He wants us to have a good time and be delivered and developed. Amen. Amen. I have here an air filter. This is a new one. And uh, Mr. Sands, I, <laughs> I probably should have had you bring in the dirty one. Because this, this, this is this this is this is me in Christ. Yeah. Yes. Uh, can y'all see this? Yeah. This is what me and her. This right. is me in Christ. Yes. And if I would have had a dirty one, that would have been me before Christ. Yeah. But when I get in Christ, I'm brand new. Yes. Right? Amen. Watch this now. I'm, I'm about to say something. I, I need you to stay with me now. If this confuses you, just say, Pass on. just raise your hand. Mm. <laughs> Not only am I brand new, but I allow Jesus to be my filter. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yes. Right? Uh-huh. And guess what? If Jesus is my filter, I can look like this all the time. Yeah. Y'all miss that. In other words, Jesus is white as snow. And he can keep me like that if I allow him to be my filter. Because see, Jesus can't get called up. I can. Jesus can't get trapped in stuff. Guess what? I can. Y'all ready for this? Jesus can't be hurt by your words. But what? I can. Y'all not saying that. Jesus can't be hurt by your actions. But guess what? I can. If Jesus is my filter, don't you know I will process it through his eyes? If I process it through him, I won't be mad at you for six days. Y'all, come on. If I process it through him, I won't feel the need to have vengeance against you. If I process my thoughts through him, I'll show love. I'll forgive. Because everything what? Flows through my filter. Let me give it to you another way. Let me, let me go another way. Let me go another way. Let me go another way. Can I go another way? Yes. Can I go another way? Yes, sir. Yes. My filter is designed to keep dirt and all kind of things from, from messing up my unit. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Let's say Jesus is my filter. You see this? This filter is in front of my what? Oh, y'all caught that. Y'all caught it. It's in front of what? It's in front of what? This filter is in front of what? I, uh, what? This filter is in front of what? If I remove the filter. <laughs> now I want to know why my heart's so messed up. I want to know how did that get in my heart? How, y'all not saying that? How did that anger, did that bitterness, did that resentment, did that pride? How, how, how did it get there? I didn't have the right or I have the filter, but he's not on. Mm-hmm. Have you ever asked yourself, how did they get in my heart? Mm-hmm. How did I get to this place? How? Yes, I have to go back and check what? My filter. I'm trying to find all kind of ways to explain this to you so you can get it. Uh, it he says, the Bible says, guard your heart with all diligence. For out of it flows the issues of life. Amen. How do I guard it? By making sure Jesus turned on. Amen. My filter. My filter has what? Has to be turned on. Amen. 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 Nice filter. Brand new. 
Once I, once I place this up in the vent, mm -hmm. over time, this will change colors. Yes. You're right? Mm -hmm. But guess what? It's doing what it was designed to do. Mm -hmm. I'm giving it to you another way where you can understand. This will do what it's designed to do. Jesus will do what he's designed to do. What he's mm -hmm. been called to do for your life. He will block the trash from getting to your heart. Amen. I want you to ask yourself, how did they get in my heart? First, they had to get to your head. Amen. And to get past your head to your heart. Mm -hmm. And your filter is where? In your head. Mm -hmm. Or whatever filter you got turned on. When Jesus is your filter, he blocks it from getting to from, from get, getting here to here. Y'all understand this? Yeah. Listen, if you want to change your behaviors, don't start with your heart. <sighs> if you want to change your behavior, don't start with your heart. Amen. That don't sound right. Yeah, right. If you want to change your behaviors, don't start with your heart. Start with your head. Because your head is your thinking. Your filters. How you run things through. And whatever gets past your head gets to your heart. But you have to trace it back to the root. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 You have to what? Trace it. You have to what? You have to what? Trace it back to the root. I was at the dentist uh, not too long ago. And they said, well, Mr. Wendell, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and uh, put that crown on your tooth. I said, yes. Yeah. But I said, Lord, here we go. But what? But first, we got to go down there and get whatever that nerve is out of there. Get a grip, get all that out of there. And I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was happy about the ground part. <laughs> but the root part, I wasn't too happy about. Y'all missing all this teaching. Yeah. See, 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 see. Yes. We want to change our behaviors. We want to change all these things. Mm -hmm. But we cannot change those things yeah. until we get to the root. Yeah. What's the root? Thinking. My thinking. Yeah. And my thinking has a filter. Yeah. Say amen. 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 <clears throat> Glory to God. We have to turn Jesus on. We have to turn him on so that he can work in our lives. I want to challenge you today and tell you this. You may agree or you may disagree. Either way, it's okay. Holy Spirit have to come and minister to you, minister to you on it. Your actions, your behaviors, your reactions, all that stuff comes from through a field. There are people out there that buy books, 12 steps to success, 18 steps to riches, how to stop anger, and how to do this, and how to do that. I want to challenge you today. If you just make Jesus your field, you don't need 12 steps. Amen. And I'm not bashing those who wrote the books. and I think it's a good material. But what I'm saying to you is, you, you, you don't need all those steps. All you got to do is just change the field. Amen. When a thought comes through your head, it says, do it. A thought makes it, well, do this. Well, if Jesus is your filter, hmm. on, Jesus will catch that thought yeah. and get it out of there before it manifests into an, into an action. Y'all yeah. get what I just said? Yeah. Jesus will be the filter. What, what does the filter do? It catches it. Yeah. Before it gets to the main part. If you want to get your heart right and get it protected, let Jesus be your filter. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you what. Look at Romans real quick. We have to come back to this part of next week because I have so much I want to say. Romans 12 
<coughs> Romans 12. Jesus is my filter. I have Jesus, but is he turned on? When Jesus is turned on, you hear his voice. His voice is that don't act like that. His voice is that don't, don't say that. His voice is that don't say it that way. His voice is that you need to say that, but don't say it that way. Amen. His voice will tell you. Are you following him? Yes. His voice will talk. You will hear his voice. Mm -hmm. Romans chapter 12. Verse number 2 says. And do not be conformed to this world. But be ye what? Transformed by the renewing of your mind. That you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Be transformed by the renewing. Ing is a word by itself if you didn't know. Means continuation. Moving means what? I'm, I'm steadily moving. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm in action. I'm, I'm, I'm moving. I'm, I'm in steady progress. Uh, 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 continuing. That means that every day I got to renew my mind. Just because you did it on Sunday don't mean you need to do it on, on Sunday night. Amen. How many know that your mind can be messed up by Sunday night? Yeah. I got two people that believe me. Yeah. You can be in church with all this good word and by, by the time you get home, your Jesus filter is turned off and your filter is on. Yeah. And the Holy Spirit be standing there like, oh, they good words you just got. <laughs> In the Amplified Bible, verse 2 says, Do not be conformed to this world, be uh, this age, fashioned after and adapted to its external, superficial customs, but be transformed, changed by the entire renewal of your mind. Mm -hmm. By its new ideals and its new attitude. Lord Jesus, yes. your filter determines your attitude. Some of y'all nod, some of y'all not saying that. If you want to look at, look at, if you want to, <laughs> if you see your, just, how many, know, watch this, how many know that you know you have an attitude more than everybody else? Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, sometimes we can be blind to our attitude. Amen. Say amen. Anybody amen. been blind to your own attitude? Yeah. Somebody said, you got an attitude. I don't have an attitude. <laughs> huh? <laughs> look at y'all. Some of y'all look like, look at, don't look at your neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> Filters. Watch, you ready? Filters. Be transformed, changed by the entire renewal of your mind, by its new ideals and its new attitude. New attitude. So that you may prove for yourselves what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Even the thing which is good and acceptable and perfect in his sight for you. Renew your mind. In other words, changing your filters. Amen? Amen. Changing your filters. Changing your filters. Look at Philippians chapter 4 real quick. Philippians chapter 4. Let's go there real quick. Jesus being my filter. Amen. I run everything through Jesus. Amen. Before I open my mouth and say something, guess who I'm running it through? Jesus. Huh? Jesus. Yes. Jesus yeah. is my filter. He catch all my trash. He catch the, all the... Are you, are you following him? Yeah. He's catching it before it connects to my heart. Yes. Now, let me say this. I feel led to say this. If for some reason a lot of stuff had already got to your heart already, your heart has already been damaged or whatever the case may be. As Jesus, I like this right here. As Jesus for a new heart. Amen. Amen. He'll give you one. Yeah. That's what he said in the book of Ezekiel. He says, I'll give you a new heart. Amen. You can go to Jesus and say, 
I go to God and say, you know, Father, my heart has been wounded. My heart has been hurt. My yeah. heart is, is heavy. My heart is, yeah. I feel like we got a bunch of trash in it. I, 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 I think if I'm going to turn my filth on, but the heart I have is already messed up. Jesus, give me a new heart. Yeah. Give me a new heart and be a filter for my new heart. Yeah. Amen? Amen. For, uh, uh, what I tell you? Look at verse 8. It says, uh, verse 8, Philippians chapter 4, verse 8 says, Finally, brother, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there, are, if there is any virtue and if there's anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. So, so what's, the, what's the point here? If it's not praiseworthy, I shouldn't be meditating on it. Oh, you know that your Jesus filter is not turned on if what you're meditating on is not praiseworthy. That's simple right there. If it's not praiseworthy, Jesus is not in the vicinity. If it won't bring that vacation, your filter is on and not Jesus. Whatever you meditate on should be praiseworthy. It should be edifying your mind. Oh, you follow what I'm saying? That's when Jesus is turned on. And we have to catch ourselves. We all do it, don't we? Man, how many, you know, we think about some stuff, don't we? We get to thinking about what folks said, what folks did. What ain't happening right, what should be happening right, this and that. That's not praiseworthy. Ooh, I just got it, y'all. Who gonna shout with me? Watch this. If that thought don't make you leap for joy, that's the wrong field, though. Oh, I'm your scripture pastor. That's why he says, cast down those imaginations and thought that exalted itself against the knowledge of Christ. In other words, if it come across your mind, cast it out. Yeah. He never told us that it wasn't going to come. Yeah. The thoughts going to come, yeah. but you have to cast them out. Yeah. And say, no, 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 I got my switch turned on. Yeah. And when they do come, just say, huh, y'all going in through there. Because mm -hmm. Jesus is my field. Amen. Mm -hmm. And he gonna filter what needs to be filtered. And he gonna give me what to say, what to do, how to, how to do it. Are you following what I'm saying? Yeah. If it's not praiseworthy, get it out of there. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you know, you're down to your last twenty dollars. Is that praiseworthy? Mm -hmm. Uh uh. Mm -hmm. Who wants to Who wants to sit around all day long talking about? I'm down to my last twenty dollars. Right. And if you sit around and think about that all day, what? Guess what? You are gonna be down to your last twenty dollars. No more money coming towards you. Because yeah. <laughs> money is attracted to money thoughts. Yeah. Abundance yeah. thoughts, that is. Yeah. Yes. Well, I'm down, you know, I'm down to my last 50. You know, folk talk like that in the church. Mm. I'm down to my last 50. Well, Pastor, I'm just saying, I just a fact, Pastor. I'm just saying the facts. <laughs> you know, we fact driven. Mm -hmm. And it's okay to know, it's okay to know what you're working with. Because if you know you only have 50 bucks, you need to be going to lunch every day spending 12. Amen. Come on. Yes, sir. You mean, we, know, we know facts, right? Yeah. But, but how about change your thoughts? Change yes. it. Yeah. Just say, you know, Father, I, I know what my facts is. I know I'm down to this. But Father, I think that money's coming to me. I think that all my needs oh, are met. Yeah. I thank you, Lord God, that you, that you will provide, Father. Are you following what I'm saying? Yeah. In other words, check out what you're thinking. It's one thing to be thinking, but it's another thing to be thinking with the wrong filter. Amen? Amen. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm gonna, I, we're going to stop on this scripture here because we'll pick back up. We'll pick back up on this on this next week. I want to give you a scripture to look at Amen. as an example of, of a filter. Uh -huh. <clears throat> scripture that we've read for years probably. Uh, Look at John's Gospel, chapter 8. John's Gospel, chapter 8. Real quick. Look at somebody say, hurry up. We got to get to hurry up. John's 
John's Gospel, chapter 8, verse uh, We're not going to read the whole chapter, but look, look at Look at uh, look at verse verse two, John chapter eight verse two says. Now early in the morning he came again into the temple, and all the people came to him, and he sat down and taught them. Then the scribes and Pharisees brought to him a woman caught in adultery. You see that? Yeah. And when they had set him or set her in the midst, it's like they brought her yeah. and just said, "Here." Jesus is going to get you down. They said to him, teacher, this woman was caught in adultery in the very act. Say amen, somebody. Amen. I don't need to expound on that, do I? Now Moses in the, now Moses in the law commanded us that such, that such should be stoned. But what do you say? What do you say? They, this they said, testing him that they might have something of which to accuse him. But Jesus stooped down and wrote on the ground with his finger as though he did not hear. So when they continued asking him, he raised himself up and said to them, he who is, <laughs> he who is without sin among you, let him throw a stone at her first. And again, he stooped down and wrote on the ground. Then those who heard it, being convicted by their conscience, went out one by one, beginning with the oldest even to the last. And Jesus was left alone and the woman standing in the midst. When Jesus had raised himself up and saw no one but the woman, he said to her, Woman, where are, the, all, the, where are those accusers of yours? Has no one condemned you? She said, No one, Lord. And Jesus said to her, neither do I condemn you. Go and what? Sin no more. Watch this. Holy Spirit pointed this out to me. They, the accusers, say they're accusers. The accusers expected Jesus to have the same feel that they did. <laughs> that condemnation, that filter that you so wrong. Look, we all wrong, but we point yours out. Oh, Jesus. We all wrong up in this piece, but we're going to point yours out. And Jesus said, well, uh-huh. Let he that has no sin or that is without sin cast the first stone. And you see everybody walked away. They expected Jesus to have the same filter they did. And Jesus surprised them, didn't he? You have to be careful. People will expect you to have the same feel that they do. Yeah. And people will expect you to have the same feel that they have. Yeah. But you have to say, you know what? I don't, I don't, uh uh, that's not my feel. Yeah. If somebody come to you with some gossip, come to you with some mess, no, uh uh, 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 uh. no, no. I have the feel of Jesus. Yeah. Jesus is not interested in condemning nobody. Amen. Amen. Jesus is not what? Guess what happened? Let me see. Let me see. Let me close my book here. Let me see how many people will get happy about this. Guess what happened when you lay down and went to sleep last night? Anybody want to know? Yes, sir. I said, does, does anybody want to know? Yes, Periscope. You want to know? Yeah. When you when you lay down and went to sleep last night. A big eraser from heaven erased all your junk from that day. And when you woke up, Book of Lamentations slapped you in the face with a brand new mercy. Yes. While you sleep, guess what? The eraser. Just erasing all. Oh, y'all not saying nothing. It, it erased, and it, it, it almost sounds too good to be true. But guess what? He erased it. And let me tell you about Jesus right quick. Jesus told the woman, he says, uh, you know, your sins are forgiven, so forth, so on. But then he told her what? Don't sin no more. Now. So that, that don't mean that Jesus condemned what she was doing. Excuse me. That he condoned what she was doing. Because he told her that don't go back and do the same thing you just got caught doing. 
Are uh, you following that? So God's mercy and his brand new mercy and his eraser don't mean that you wake up the next morning drinking out the same bottle. Amen. 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 Say amen. 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 That, 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 no, no, no. He erased it to give you a fresh start. How many are grateful for that? Amen. Stand here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank God for Jesus. Yes. Jesus is our filter. He is our way maker, our yes. penalty payer. Yes. He paid it all for us. Yes. Join hands with someone as we prepare to go home. Don't forget uh, that be here after church for about 30 minutes to pray.